Hello, this is Palico Pudge, and welcome to a new Let's Play series on this channel with the game West Slingers by Tailwind Games. Now, what is West Slingers? Well, generally, it is classed as a indie action strategy game. To me, it plays a little bit more like a puzzle game because there isn't that much randomness within the game. It looks very much like RimWorld, but it is something which I've been having a lot of fun with and I thought, well, why don't we bring it to the channel? We, we're due a new series. Let's make this the game. Why not? It's brand new out. Let's let's jump on that bandwagon. Hey, it's a Western. Bandwagons are all the all the all the fitting of the of the of the theme, isn't it, really? So yeah. <laughs> I've really got to start working on my intros. Anyway, we're going to crack on. So in this game, we are a lone gunman and we are looking to make the most notorious outlaw gang in the West. And uh, it's it's based over, I believe it's 24 levels where we have to do certain objectives. You can pause it like you can in Minworld by pressing the space bar just to see what's going on and uh, try and sort of figure out the strategy. And uh, yeah, I figured we'll just have a playthrough, see how it goes. Why not? Hey, why not? So let's crack on. We need a new gang. And uh, well, we've got a difficulty selection here. They have added one, uh, which is most wanted. I don't think we'll, we'll go silly for the first time through. Uh, we'll just play on Outlaw, which is the normal mode. And then if it gets a little bit tricky or we start hitting our head against a brick wall too much, then we'll move it down to Suspect. But as it stands, Outlaw will do. This is the legend of the... Right, so we've got to name our gang. The Palico... Palico? Palico... Palico... Gang. No, I do. It was a gang founded by... Annie Burris. Bruce Maxwell. Magnolia Morrison. That's, that's, that's good. I like that. Or Wanda Casey. Hmm. I do really dig his beard. He has an awesome beard, and he's got a raccoon on his head. So the, nothing says the old west like wearing a raccoon on your head. So let's 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 go with Bruce. None other than Bruce Maxwell. It was rumored he was the question mark gunslinger in the west, uh, the hardest, the sharpest, the fastest. Or the, oh, it's got to be the ugliest. He was the ugliest gunslinger in the west. Boom, awesome. And the story goes. I guess that's a starting. Hold space bar to skip the intro. We won't worry about that. Let's let's envelop ourselves within Westlingers. That was well timed. So as you can see, very, very cutesy. That's a nice water effect actually for a little indie game. Uh, we got created by Tom Chu. Is it Chu? Chu? Choo choo train, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Let's not start by making fun of the developer <laughs> in the first episode. Let's, let's get a few episodes in before we do that. So this is it. This is the, the, the play. Uh, we are getting off as a train. And we'll have a little look around. I don't know where he was going. So here we are. We are Bruce. Hear me roar. Well, maybe not roar, but hear me waddle anyway. And uh, we are tasked in this map to hunt down the Rattle River Brothers. And there's two of them. And then we're going to take the train to the next round. So th th this is basically a tutorial. Uh, we can't zoom in anymore. Can we zoom out? Oh, we can zoom out of it. So it looks like we only have the two, two places to go this time around. Let's, uh, let's have a look see here. So um, as you can see here, we have a little shield icon. That means as soon as we get there, we can hunker down behind something. There is also... Oh, I'll bring you over here to show you. Oh, hello. Uh, there is also, when you're next to a window hunkered down, an, uh, an icon to go flying through that window rather dramatically. Should we do that? Let's do that. Boom. There we go. And we've got another one here. Now, I presume there's going to be a guy here. As it stands right now, our, our gun is holstered. So any lawmen that, that are around won't automatically get aggravated by us. So hopefully that means when we go down below here, because I have played through the tutorial where the sheriff is, as long as we haven't got our pistol drawn, he's not going to automatically shoot us. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, by the by, though, we need to pull out our gun here. See, he's ready for me. It's my twin! Except, except he's not looking as dapper. And uh, is it honourable to shoot someone in the back? Looks like he's going to shoot himself in the head. So he's looking that way. And he's an outlaw. 
he has a skill of 10 on the gun. We only have six. That's, that's not the best. Right, let's go for it. In the back. Boom. Did we take any damage then? I don't think we did. Nice. Good start. Good start. And as you can see, as you move into the room, there are several places you could hunker down below. But that, that was the one which I found was the best on my first playthrough. And then we're going to go take out his brother. His brother is actually with the sheriff at the moment. So let's reload first. And then put that Doshgan gun away. And we'll, we'll go and have a look. So his brother at the moment is in here. There's nobody there. Lucian. Uh, oh, he's part of the posse. He's not really a sheriff. He's he's like a minor, minor person. That's fine. That will let's make this dramatic. Let's dive through, get the gun out, and then shoot. So dive out, shoot. Boom. And oh, how very dare you? He, he bum rushed me. You saw that. You saw. You are my witness. He bum rushed me. He was coming at me, arms flailing. Like a madman. It was self-defense. It was self-defense. And that's what I'm going to tell the court before I get hung. And uh, that's it. That is the, the tutorial done. Uh, that's the first time he's actually came out. Last time he, he hid in his in his room and never came out. But this time he was like, I know what you're up to. I'm coming for you first. I will beat you to death, sir. In fact, we've got to put our gun away. And that's the first level. Mission successful. Now, the other thing to note is that we've got a bronze on that. There are different rankings you can get depending on how quickly you finish a level so there are timed goals on this if you so choose to go down that route not something which i'm particularly bothered with in this playthrough i'm just doing this to learn the story and have a little bit of fun along the way but if if you're a time attack kind of guy or girl then this this caters for you quite quite nicely i like to think but hey ho and this is the uh, the map screen. As you can see right now, there's not a lot open. We do have Mud Springs. And we've just been to Rattle Crossing. So I'm guessing we're going there. We do have, though, a stat screen. It's not going to be too interesting right now, but I thought I'd just show it to you. So uh, we've fired nine bullets. We've landed nine bullets. 100% shooting accuracy. I'd just like you guys to note that now, because that's the last time you're going to see it at 100%. Uh, we have damage dealt, received, evaded. So there must be some sort of dodge mechanic later on. Total kills, because we killed oh, we killed the posse. So yeah, it's, it's uh, well, it's all there for you whenever you want to look at it. But let's crack on. Mud Springs, and uh, we are doing safe passage. You learned of the ma madam of the hotel's desire to be freed of the advances of the repugnant posses staying there. Secure the Grand Hotel before travelling out of town. So we need to secure the Mud Springs Grand Hotel and escape east out of Mud Springs. And if we can do it in 33 seconds, we get a thousand gold. Well, as I said, we're not going to worry too much about that. Now, uh, we only have the one person at the moment. We have vitality, which is health generally. Vitality determines the amount of damage an outlaw can sustain. We have accuracy, which speaks for itself, determines the outlaw precision with a weapon. Dexterity, which is how much they can draw, holster, and reload. And then evasion. Evasion determines the ability of an outlaw to dodge a bullet while moving. So hey ho, we've well, we've only got the one guy, so we'll need to put him up there. And oh, it looks like we get to choose our own gun. We only have the one. That's fine. Let's saddle up and rock on. Mud Springs, population four. These aren't very populous towns. You'd have thought there's only four people here. Then the madam should be able to kick them out themselves. But hey ho, I'm not I'm not one to judge. So uh, let's press the space bar to begin. Now, when we press the space bar, we get to see line of sight, which is very, very useful. I believe you can also see the line of sight of the people who you can see at the time as well, which again, can come in pretty useful. Now I'm hoping this is going to be empty, seeing as it's our house. It would appear to be. So this is the madam's place. Are there any windows we can look through? Escape East. So, I, I presume there's going to be three people to kill. No one in there. What about the next one? We've got Daniel there. No one in there. No one here. And that is Murty. Can't shoot Murty. Can we talk to Murty? I 
don't think we can talk to Murty. So there would appear to be no one in these rooms because we've looked here already. Oh, yeah, someone in that room. No one in that room. Oh, we have Israel here. Hello! So I presume the next one's in here? No? Is there only two then? I thought there was going to be three. Daniel? Don't mind me, I'm just one of those weird people who travels in and out of rooms. A bit like when you play Baldur's Gate. I don't know what it's like for you guys with the old isometric RPGs, but I, I used to go into everybody's room. I don't care who if they were noble, you know, angry with me, whatever. I'm going for your boxes. I'm going for your chests. I'm going for your wardrobes. And if there's anything I like the look of and can get away with stealing without you beating me to a pulp, I'm going to do it. Speaking of beating to a pulp, let's get the old gun out. So... Don't worry, Murty. This isn't for you. Uh, there's nowhere to hide, though, is there? I'll tell you what. Let's go around the outside. We'll hunker down here. And then we're going to jump through. Shoot! Boom, he didn't even see me. Didn't even see me. Now he's coming for me. He's gonna come. Does he come through the window as well? I don't think so. Oh, there we go. So we have control of Madam now. What does she do? Let's have a look around with her. So that's locked. Can we get into that? No. I don't think it's going to be very good for the prostitute to go riding through. Oh, that's the sheriff. Hello. Does she have a gun? I don't think she has a gun. We need to get him reloaded though. Right, let's let's go and have a look in here. Is there anyone in here that we need to kill? Can we get away with not killing the sheriff this time around? No, it would appear the sheriff is the guy to die. Okay, well, uh, let's get you out of here. Can't you just die through the window? That'd be much quicker. Alright, so let's let's get you here. Yeah, he's not happy. Shoot him. Shoot him. Ow. Ow. Shoot him. Run! Oh. Okay, so shotguns are bad. Shotguns are bad. Let's let's try that again. Alright, we kinda know what we're doing this time. Let's go. So We'll do this bit quickly, because it's the easy bit. So we're going to take out the guy in the room. I don't. Can you hunker behind the bed? I didn't look last time. I keep forgetting to pause. So, in, shoot, bang. His friend's going to come any second. Down. Right, so let's get you reloaded. And then we'll put, we'll put that away. We've learned from last time. You go and stand over there. Now you, I don't know what we're going to do with you. Can you actually... No, you can't actually hurt him. You, can you do anything? Can, can we... There's no gun here for you to get, is there? What happens if you come in here? Is he upset by that? He's not. I wonder, if I put you over there, do you get distracted by her? He does. Boom! Thanks, Emmeline. You can go back to your, your station and we shall proceed on to escape. Let's reload. Well, we, we're a little injured, but that's good. We did it. Mission successful. Bronze. Wouldn't expect anything more. I believe also if you get a better time on this, you get a little bit extra on, on stats. You definitely do on XP. But hey ho, that's it. We've we've freed the brothel, madame. She's now on our side, I like to think. Whenever, you know, we you know, a little bit of slap and tickle, we know where to head from here on in. Good to know. Good to know. We are now on to Frostmore. 
uh, jailbreak. Words of an old friend being jailed. Reach your ears. Free your friend and kill the captors. So we need to free the prisoner. Keep the prisoner alive and kill all the lawmen. Okay. Jailbreak. Hey-ho. Are we... I presume we're not injured still. I like to think we're not injured still. Saddle up. Right. So let's go. Come here. Can we actually use our horse here? No, we can't. Okay. Well, let's have a quick look-see. So we've got four... Oh, right, he's in there. There's four lawmen as well. well. Let's have a look around. Let's see what's going on. Oh, there's some lawmen in here. Huh? Hello! And the bartender. Okay. Pat and Worth. Noted. Let's come on down here. It might be worth leaving those two guys. The uh, the barman. Uh, in fact, let's go back to the window. See, they've got pistols. He's got a shotgun. I've learnt the hard way with a shotgun, so we're not going to worry too much about him right now. Lewis, your deputy. Now, I wonder if you're a deputy, whether that means you are a better shot. I guess we'll find out at some point. But there we go. That is... Uh, Lewis, who's in the hotel? We got Shirley. No one in there. Houston, he's part of the posse. No one down there. And what about the last place? The house. The house, the house. I'm guessing if there's only four lawmen, there's going to be nobody in here, but we're probably best scoping it out. Just making sure. Oh, we've got Roland. He's a farmer, you know. Is this your house, Roland? Anything interesting in here? Anything I can claim for myself? No? Okay. Well, I think we're probably best taking out... Huh? Huh? Oh, it's you, Roland. Okay. Uh, we're probably best taking out the one lawman in here. We can then distract... The lawman in here with the the hooker. Just trying to think about this. So here we go. Get him. Boom. Right, so we have her. So Bruce, 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 Bruce. Uh, if you come stand there. Madam, if you'd like to come in here. Use your womanly charm to distract the deputy for a second for me. Huh? Oh, yeah. He likes what he's looking at. And then if we get you over here to come to this window. And then we can have you dive. Oh, did you see me? No. So, dive through. Boom. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Okay, so we're paused right now. He's down. He's got a gun. Can we pick that gun up? That would be useful. So if you move to there, surely you're going to get banged up in a second. So We've got... Oh, we've got players now. Players, what have you got, son? Well... Whatever you got, you need to come out and help here. You've got a pistol as well. Are these guys coming out? I think we better get these guys to hunker down. Oh, we got the one. There he is. Are you aiming at him? You're aiming at him. Uh, right, this is bad. Bruce, dive. Please, dive. Oh, Bruce, reload. Please, have you got any bullets left? You haven't. You reload too. Please, someone shoot him. Thank you. <sighs> Didn't have to escape that time, though. That's good, I suppose. 
Oh, he's terrible though. Look at those. That was quite frantic. That was, I'm going to have to remember that. And uh, now we're on to... Well, we've got two. We've got... You know what? I've just noticed I've, I've spelled my name wrong. <laughs> 20 minutes in and I've, I've spelled my name. We're the Pal Palcio gang now. Well, I suppose it's got a better ring to it. That'll do. Uh, so we can go back to Mud Springs or we can move on to Beaver Creek. Let's check out Mud Springs again. So we've done safe passage. We're on to muddy job now. No one ever suspects a bank robbery when the desert rains. Secure the Mud Springs bank. Steal $500 from the bank. Return to the horses. Um, I'm just going to go back a second. Who's in Beaver Creek then? Swift silence. An outlaw we tried to recruit has turned on us. A marshal is arriving by train to escort him out of town. Kill the snitch and escape. Let's do swift silence first and then we'll look at taking them out, uh, taking the bank out. So we want both of them. Oh, we've got a rifle now though. Who's got the better accuracy? I think it's going to be Bruce. So Bruce will be the guy with the rifle. It should hopefully make him a bit more dexterity. His dex dexterity is high. Yeah, so the revolver's going to have to be reloaded quicker. So, yeah, Plius is better with that, definitely. So let's uh, let's saddle up, shall we? Ye and Haw. Beaver Creek, population 11. Oh, it's gone up a little now. Right, so I believe our man's going to be in here. We have with us uh, a church secure to increase cover protection by 10%. That could be useful. A secured hotel to gain Madame's confidence. Yes. Secure the saloon to detect people out of sight. Or the depot. Well, oh, and here comes the train. Well, I suppose there's no harm in looking. Look, see, he's pulling up now, and what's in the depot? I've got oh Randall, who's part of the posse. Waldo, who's a marshal, and Bert, who's part of the posse. They don't need to know anything. Come on, guys. Can we not go in there? So there's nothing in here. Let's go back out then. So these guys just standing here? They are. This is Bert and Randall. We need to get over to there. Okay. Who's in the saloon then? We have Hollis, Seymour the bartender, and Moses. Is that all? That's all there. We'll go check out the church. Now, I just thought, being a church... Oh, hang on a sec. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is chick going down and we're just... We're not prepped at all. Are they leaving? Is this it? Are they done? Is it over? We've got the sheriff, who's got 10. The marshal, who's got 10. And the outlaw. Okay, well... We're, we're bound to fail at some point. So let's, let's just follow these guys and see uh, where they're going exactly. And if they leave straight away, uh, we know we can't dilly-dally on the next go. Yeah, so there's like no no prep time here at all. We've just got to act. So with that in mind, I know exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to take these guys over to the church. We're going to get the cover advantage, and I'm going to prop them out by the front of the of the uh, of the church through those windows. I think that's probably the best bet. I'd like to think there's going to be nobody. Here comes the train. Train's in. Okay. Come on, guys. Get in there. Do we have to kill... Do we have to kill the, the, the holy man in order to get the protection? Because that sucks. Okay. Uh, in which case, please, please do the honours. Or not, as the case may be. Uh, you reload. Oh, no. They weren't happy about that. 
they were not happy about that. Can we, can we? Okay, right. We need we need to kill the marshal. <laughs> Bruce, pull your gun out, son. You're gonna be, you're gonna need that. Um, drawing and then shoot. Really? Okay. Uh, players, you got two bullets left. Wow, they do not mess. They do not mess. Let's get you both reloading, I think. Okay. Br uh, right, Bruce, um, I'm not sure what's going on here. So, you stay there. You've covered that. Players, put your gun away, son. Are they still over there? Is it showing? Yeah, they're still there. So, I presume they're not going to turn up now because we've... we've Killed the marshal who was coming for it. Wow, he's very dead. So, with that being said, we've got a little bit of spare time now. Can you, can you hold up at this window instead? Yeah, you can. Right, so. Let's go check out the brothel. Sorry, the hotel. I, I do apologise. Can you reload? Or have you reloaded? You've reloaded. Right, so we've got Estella. Anyone in here? No. Anyone here? No. So if that's the case, why can't I take you on? Why are you not mine to obey? Okay, well, fine. Let's go and check this out. See how many people are down there. I presume it's only going to be the one now. So we've got Levy. Constance. Change from the last time, mind. Uh, I don't know if we've got anyone in here. I think that's going to be a cell rather than a bed. Although it does have a fancy cover to it. So it might actually be the sheriff's bed. Right. Bruce, we have... We're, we're okay as far as this place is concerned for cover. Let's see if we can get you a little bit closer. I feel bad about killing the priest now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Huh? Hi, Estella! So, Bruce will be in position. Nice. So, I think we'll get Plius to open the door, start shooting. We'll hopefully kill the person who's turned against us. The sheriff, no doubt, will be drawn out. To which point, in fact, thinking about it, if we're going to be heading from the top, we'd be best having Bruce there. Can you can you actually see? How do I get you to look in this direction? Okay, if I put you there, will you look forward then? No, you're sort of fixated on the bomb. That's fine. I'm sure our plan will go perfectly well. So, players. Players, players, players. You ready, son? In you go. We're hiding. We're drawing, we're shooting. Dead. Then we're going to get you to pull back. Because he's going to be on our tails. Maybe. Are we good? Let's get you reloading. Oh, he's wanted, but they're not chasing. We'll keep the guns out. You never know. You never know. Let's go. Yeah, we're not worried about Estella. I'll tell you the other thing I am worried about. They're walking past this saloon now, especially if you're wanted. This might not go according to plan. We might have had to have cleared that out first. Is Kurt going to notice? Yeah. Run, men! Run! Oh, my life! That's a big shotgun. 
And then under a hail of bullets. Leg it. We did it. Boom. See, not everybody has to die every time. Just most of the times. But hey, we got we got our revenge. And that's what that mission was all about. Boom. Don't mess with Bruce and Plius. They're, they'll set their raccoon hats on you. Yes, yes. And I think on that note, we shall leave it there. So there you go. That is Westlingers. A game I'm enjoying. Hopefully you like the look of it too. Because there's going to be more of it. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.